quite often uh, we get uh, couples where the male partner has been reported to have uh, azospermia as we call it it basically means zero sperm count now this is a not a common issue but unfortunately not too uncommon either we find that almost 5% of couples will eventually have this kind of a scenario and uh, obviously it is devastating for a couple to find that there are no sperms and do they do come and request us to see what we can do about it the good news is it's not really so bad in almost 50% of the people uh, broadly there are two kinds of um, uh, patients with zero sperm count some people would have a reduced count primarily because the testis is not producing adequate amount of sperms and again there there could be a couple of reasons one is the uh, master gland the so called pituitary gland might not be producing as much hormone as it should in which case it's actually a, a pretty straightforward process to try and stimulate the testis to produce more sperms and quite often we do succeed uh, we do also see the other scenario where a uh, patient has a uh, what appears to be an adequately functioning testis adequately functioning pituitary glands and yet uh, the semen does not show any sperms and quite often this could be due to what we call an obstructum in the path of the sperms and there we have several options nowadays we could try and correct the obstruction if it is something that we know what's the cause as for example as might happen after a surgery or if supposing even if it were not to be corrected an obstructive azospermia is a gives us a scenario where we could actually aspirate the sperms we call it a uh, surgical sperm retrieval and use these sperms that we get for ivf or ixi and usually the results are phenomenally good and quite often we um, give very very good results for these kind of patients so a zero sperm count need not necessarily be a very bad issue yes once in a while we do come across a scenario where a patient might have a very poor count and uh, also has an endocrine issue where it cannot be corrected in which case we uh, counsel the patients as to what's to be done next